Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite 2024 and in this video I am going to show you how to take notes on this tablet using 16 tips and tricks. So let's start. The first tip is about bringing data from different sources to your notes. So here I open my Samsung notes and I will start taking my notes. Now for example, I want to bring some image from Google to my notes. I will take out this edge panel and then I will open the internet browser in split screen. Now here you can see I search some images on Google. For example, I like this image and now I want this image in my notes. I will use my S Pen and then I will press and hold it like this and I can easily drag and drop this image in my notes and later if you want you can edit this image, you can crop it, you can also do the labeling as well. The next thing is you can also bring any text from Google to your notes. For example, I will go back from here and now for example, I want this text in my notes. So what I will do, first of all, I will use my S Pen, I will start selecting the text so I will select it till here then again I will press and hold it like this and then I can easily drag and drop this text in my notes and later if you want you can also do the editing so I will select this keyboard and then if you want you can also edit this text as well the next tip is about bringing whole web page to your notes. For example, I open this website and now I want to bring this whole website to my notes. So first of all, I will select this reader mode option. So I will select it like this and then it will open the simplified version of the same website without any menus or without any advertisements. It will only show the text and images. Now I want to bring it to my notes. So here you can see at bottom I have this option of link and whole page. So I will select this whole page option and now it will start adding this whole website to my notes. So you just have to wait for a few seconds and then I will show you. So here you can see the same website is now available in my notes with the same text and the same images as well. Now if you want you can also edit this web page on your notes. If you want to write something you can write it. If you want to write some text you can also write text as well. You can also use other tools for example if you want to use this shape tool you can also use it the next thing is you can also use the page sorter option so here we have this page sorter option so I will select it and here on this side it will show you all the pages of the same website in your notes for example you want to go on this page you can directly select it from here and then if you want you can do all your editing the next thing is you can also add or delete pages as well so select these three dots okay and then here you can see we have this option of add page so I will select this add page option you can select any page template and then you can add it in your notes and then here you can do all your writing you can take your notes and then if you want to delete any page you can also delete directly from here for example I want to delete this page again I will select these three dots and then here is the delete option so I will select this delete page option the next tip is about taking notes on top of videos. For example, you are having a lecture or you are watching some kind of video and you want to take notes in the meantime. So just press this S Pen button and then tap on the screen two times like this. It will open the Samsung notes and here you can start taking your notes. But you can see this note taking app is blocking the view behind. So select this blue bar, select the opacity icon and then from here you can reduce the opacity of Samsung notes. Now you can see the video behind and you can also take your notes. The next thing is you can also do the screen recording of your note taking and the video behind. So just bring down this quick panel and then select screen recorder and then you will see this option of start recording. So I will select this option and then after this countdown your screen recording will start. The next thing is if you want to highlight anything important on your video or on your notes you can use this pen tool from a screen recorder and then you can highlight anything important on your screen. You can also 
turn on the front camera as well so here is the front camera icon so here you can see i have this front camera and now you can also move it anywhere on your screen as well once you finish with your screen recording you can select this stop option and your screen recording will be available on your gallery and later you can edit it and you can share it the next tip is about adding text to notes for example you are scrolling through a website and you find some interesting information and you want to save it so just use your s pen and then start selecting the text so for example i will select this text till here now you can see we have this option of add to note so select add to note so the same text will be added to your notes now you can make it full size so i will make it full size from here and then if you want you can also so edit this text if you want to use the highlighter you can also use the highlighter if you want to write on this text you can also do the writing on top we also have this link option so the link is for the same website you can just select it like this it will open the same website with the same highlighted text okay and then if you want you can also remove this link so you just press and hold it like this and then select this delete option the next tip is about pin your notes for example i open my notes and now i want to pin some specific part of these notes i will open the air command and then i will open the smart select tool now i will use my s pen and then i will select some specific part of these notes for example i will select it till here now you can see the specific part is selected here you can see we have this option of pin so i will select this pin option now this part is pinned to my screen so even if i go out of my notes the same part is available on my screen i can open another app and the same specific notes are available you can also make the size of this pin small so here is the icon you can select it and it will become minimized like very small thumbnail and then if you want to open it you can open it like this the next tip is about tools so inside samsung notes we have different tools available the first one is this pen tool you can select any style of pen and you can change the thickness you can change the line style and you can also change the color so you can use this pen tool for handwriting and you can also use this pen tool for creating neat shapes for example if i want to create like this type of shape i will just hold my s pen and then it will make it neat for me same way you can also use this highlighter tool so we have four different type of highlighters and you can also change the thickness you can change the opacity and you can also change the color and you can also use this highlighter to create neat shapes as well so i will just hold my s pen like this and then it will make it neat for me the next tool is this s pen to text tool now whatever i write it will convert it into the text so here you can see you can also use this shape tool so i can create different type of shapes and it will make it neat for me and then i can also change their dimension as well so here you can see i can create different dimension i can rotate it and i can also change its size as well you can also use this keyboard tool and then you can type anything and here we have all different text tools also available the next tip is about voice recording so if you want to record your lectures select this attach icon select voice recording and then it will start recording the voice and in the meantime you can also take your notes once you finish with your recording you can select this stop option and then your recording will be attached to your notes if you want to play it select this arrow and then from here you can play your recordings the next tip is about page templates select these three dots the first option is about page template so you can select it and here you can see we have different styles of pages available so you can select these pages with lines with grids and also other styles available you can also select this pdf option and here we have different yearly planner weekly planner and monthly planner available so you can directly select it from here and then it will apply on your your notes and then you can use them 
The next tip is about page color. So you can also change the color for your pages. Select these three dots. The second option is about page settings. So you can select it and here you can see we have different background colors option available. You can also make it dark, you can make it pink and other colors also available. The next thing is you can also change the scrolling direction for your pages. So currently it is set to vertical. You can also go for horizontal. Now you can scroll your pages like in this direction. The next tip is about collaboration. So you can collaborate your note taking as well. Select these three dots and here is the option for invite collaborators. So you can select it and then it will create a link for you. So here is the option for share link. You can select it and then select OK and then it will create a link for you and then you can use that link and you can share it with your friends, with your colleagues using different platforms. So here you can see I have this link I can copy it and then I can use it in different platforms and other people they can also participate in my note taking. The next tip is about PDF annotations. For example, I open my Samsung notes. Here you can see we have this option of PDF plus. So you can select it and then you can select your PDF file. For example, I select this PDF file. Now you can see the same PDF file is available in my notes. Now I can use all of these tools. For example, if I want to write, I can write on my PDF file. I can also highlight any text on my PDF file. And then if you want, you can also also add text to your PDF file. You can also create different shapes. Okay. So for example, if I want to create this type of shape, it will convert it into the neat shape and then I can also use it. Once you finish with your PDF annotations, select these three dots. Here is the option for share. So you can select any of these formats and then you can share it. One more thing I want to mention here is below this video, you see this like button. If you press it like this, it will change its color. You can try this experiment. The next tip is about sync your notes. So I open Samsung notes and then I open this navigation draw and then I will select this settings icon. And here you can see the first option is about sync with Samsung cloud. So you can enable this option, enter your Samsung account information and then you can sync your Samsung notes across different Samsung devices. The next tip is about extracting text from an image and use it in your notes. For example, I search this image on Google and now I want to extract all of this text. So I will press and hold it like this and then here is the option for extract text. So I will select it. All of the text is now highlighted. Now what I will do is I will just press and hold it like this and here is the option for select all. So I will use this option and then you can see here is the option of copy and share. So I will select this copy option. Now this text is copied to clipboard. Now what you can do is just open your Samsung notes and then take out this edge panel and then scroll to the clipboard. So here you can see the text that I copy is available over here. You can just press and hold it like this and then you can easily drag and drop it to your notes. And then later if you want you can do your editing. The next tip is about screen of memo. For example, your tablet is locked and you are in a hurry and you want to write something important. So just press and hold this S Pen button and then tap on the screen one time like this. It will open the screen of memo and then here you can write anything important. Once you finish with your writing, you can select this save option and then later you can access it through your Samsung notes. The next tip is about action icons. For example, you are taking your notes and you want to call someone in the meantime. Use your S Pen, just write down the number on your notes. So for example, I write this number, then select this back option and then bring your S Pen closer to this number and here you see this phone icon. Just select it, it will open the phone app and then you can call directly from here. The next thing is you can also do it for email ID. For example, here I will write this email ID. So I will write it. Okay, and then I will select this back option. I bring my S Pen closer to this ID. Here you see this email icon. You can select it and then you can send email to that person. 
same thing you can also do for the calculation so i will open my samsung notes and here for example i will write some calculation okay so i will write this calculation and now i will select this back option and then i will bring my s pen closer to this calculation it will show you this calculator icon so i will bring my pen here is the calculator icon select it like this it will open the calculator with the same calculation and then you can use it the next tip is about categorization so i will open my notes and here you can see we have this option of folders you can select it like this and here you can see i create folders according to my semesters and inside those folders i create subfolders and inside those subfolders i create my notes so how you can do it select this manage folders option select this option of create folder you can select any color and then you can give it any name and then select this option of add so here you can see a new folder is created now if you want to create a subfolder select this folder and here it is giving you the option of subfolder so select this create subfolder option again select any color give it any name and then select this add option so here you can see a subfolder is created now you can go back okay and here you can see here it is showing you this new folder and it is also showing you the subfolder and now if you want to create note select this note option and then here you can start taking your notes the next tip is about saving your notes in six different formats so once you finish with your note taking and you want to save it select these three dots and here is the option of save as file so you can select it and here you can see you have six different formats available so you can save your notes in samsung notes file pdf file word file powerpoint file image file or text file you can also share your notes select these three dots again here is the share icon and then again it will ask you for the format for example I select this PDF file format and then it will convert it into the PDF format and then it will show you different platforms and you can share your notes using these platforms so guys this is for today's video please subscribe to my channel thank you very much